All right, thank you very much, Joseph. A Harrisburg woman who's been fighting breast cancer is hoping to be done with treatment before Christmas. Now, last week, News Source 16 took you inside cancer treatment to show you what it's been like for 33-year-old Stephanie Sanders and her family from diagnosis through surgery and chemotherapy. She is now undergoing radiation. News Source 16's Angela Brower is in the studio tonight with part two of Diagnosis Cancer. Angela? Matt, the message behind Diagnosis Cancer is that while cancer is a struggle for survival, there are other people out there going through the exact same thing that Stephanie is hoping by sharing her story, it will help others. She also wants people to know that she is a person with feelings, not just a cancer patient. And it'll take me about 30 minutes to get you set up today. We're going to be putting some marks on. It was in th three of the four quadrants of your breast, yeah. so we don't know if one of those little cells might have taken an exit path yeah. straight up to this part right okay. above your collarbone. In radiation, doctors personalize every bit of treatment to Stephanie's anatomy. The table is raised in centimeters to match the tattoos they placed on Stephanie of where the radiation needs to go. And these little um, radiopaque catheters are to mark out the borders for the upper part of your field. Stephanie, come on back. A 15-minute process, fairly easy for everyone except Stephanie. She's extremely fatigued, driving from Brownsville to Eugene every day. She's spending hundreds in gas and hours coordinating babysitters. Stephanie and her husband are doing the best they can with what they've been given. Get to the end of the day, I'll make sure all the kids are in bed by 6.30, 7 o'clock, so we've got two hours every night, every night. Even in those hours, fear remains. Because breast cancer can go systemic, that I will have to deal with, oh my gosh, I banged my arm and I haven't, but I don't remember, and have an unexplained bruise. Is it bone, is it gone to my bones? Like, I'll think about that every time I get an unexplained, I've, lo I've lost the innocence of being able to just be sick with the flu, with, to just get a cold. Uh, the scariest part for me is, Coming at it from two different angles, one is leaving my husband with four small children to single parent, and the other is that my children wouldn't, like if I died, wouldn't grow up without a mom. <laughs> All right, nice time, guys. Sick or not, her children continue to grow every day, but Stephanie and her husband do as well. Um, I at least want to find as much joy in in my life as possible, regardless of how long I get to live. You wake up in the morning and especially aware, I have cancer. I'm fighting for my life. This sucks. We're doing this together. It's not a fight, but actually, you know, we're, t we're together and the issue's over here, but we're standing here and we're together. We don't want to just survive this. We want to live through this. Now, this was part two of Stephanie's story. You can watch the whole thing at KMTR.com. Stephanie has about four weeks, 23 treatments to go before any possibility of remission. She's hoping to be done by early December. In the studio, I'm Angela Brower, News Source 16. All right, great story. Thank you very much, Angela. We thank the Sanders family for allowing us to come into their home.